So flooding the problem there, but it's ice and power outages tonight that have forced volunteers to open an emergency shelter just to the south and west of DFW. At one point, as many as 1,400 homes and businesses in Stephenville had no power. Thankfully, the number's down a little bit tonight, but they're not done. As Marianne Martinez reports, a lot of people are still feeling this big inconvenience. In Stephenville, the trees have been buckling underneath the weight of ice, causing major outages. Encore crews have been working for several days now trying to restore power to a city that is mostly frozen over. Caleb Schmidt is facing his second night without power in his Stephenville home. So what I did yesterday is I just watched, you know, have, I didn't have internet, internet or anything to do, so no cell phone service. So I just watched trees fall all day and just tried to stay warm. He's going to write it out, but for this grandma, one night of freezing cold was too much. And there was all there with me in the, my room. She and her grandbabies are among the guests keeping warm at the Red Cross shelter set up at the Stephenville Senior Citizen Center. So we tried to find a place this morning, but all the motels was full. As many as 1,400 Stephenville residents woke up without power this morning. There's uh, people that haven't had power in probably 36 hours, something like that. The fire chief says it's the first time the city has opened a shelter for weather for something not related to a tornado. The fire chief says it could be Sunday or even Monday before power is restored to this entire area. Reporting from Stephenville, Marianne Martinez, 